Hello, my friends. Welcome to another mini message. Today, Tuesday, we're going to be talking about Luke chapter 17, from 11 to 19, 10 lepers cleans. As Jesus continued on toward Jerusalem, he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered the village there, ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouting, Praise God! He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. Jesus asked, Didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Amen, amen. You says has healed you. Says, and mine says, Your faith has saved you. Right? Mm. So, in this person is a, a Samaritan, and he wasn't a Jewish person, you know? He wasn't from uh, God's people in those times. So, so that, that says a lot, right? Those, from the people that knew about the Word of God, they didn't come back. But this person that wasn't, you know, like, a, like say, a, he wasn't a Christian, he came back, right? Uh, in this, uh, this example is, uh, is very um, deep, you know, because these 10 people came, and they uh, called Jesus a teacher you know have mercy of us right because they believe in jesus these 10 people believe in the word of god they came to jesus right like you and me we come to jesus we're setting us a lord and savior we're following these people they were have lepers you know we all have different sickness right different uh uh, uh, uh bad experience in our life we're, we're seeing it we're all seeing it we all, we all have something bad right in, in these 10 lepers that god cleans them because they believe in, in jesus He's telling to do, you know what? Go, do this thing in the way, you're gonna be safe, right? You're gonna be clean, right? So they went, they went to do the things, you know, back to where the, uh, to the, priest. to the priests, right? In, in those times, but to us, it's like, a, just go. God's telling us, I'll listen to you, just go, right? And then we, like these leper people, they were clean, right? They were new, like you and me. When we come to our Lord Jesus Christ, we are, we are safe. Oh, now we, we need to follow him. We need to listen to you to his voice. We need to come to the Bible and deny our, ourselves, grab our cross and follow because that's how you follow Jesus, right? And this ten, uh, only out of the ten, only one came back to do that, to go glorify Jesus, glorify God, follow him, love him, right? That's what God wants, right? When he come to our hearts, now is the time to follow him and do his will, right? Be like him, like uh, as we learn, right? But this person, this thing, uh, one only came back and nine just went to their way, and they, they never come back. He said, only one came and said, where's the other ones? Only you, you know what I mean? And he says, uh, can you repeat number 19? Uh, yes, and Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you or, or saved, saved you. you. Yeah, faith. you see, faith. Yeah. He had faith, right? Mm -hmm. Those 10 people, they have faith. Right? They have faith. But how strong is your faith, right? God says, whoever has faith, have more faith. How faith comes? By hearing and hearing the word of God. So you want your faith to be strong, you have to read your Bible every day. Go deep in the Word of God so your faith can be strong like this person. He has so much faith that he came back and praised Jesus, praised God, God, right? Praise the Word of God, right? And uh, yeah, so he says, your faith has saved you or has healed you. So yeah, we, we need to have a strong faith like this person and we need to come and follow our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I think there's something very powerful about that moment that the gospel becomes mm -hmm. personal, mm -hmm. you know, to, to us. Mm -hmm. When we hear it, we hear with our spiritual ears for the first time. We may have been able to repeat it for many years, um, especially those maybe that grew up in church. But when you really understand that, oh my goodness, Jesus died for me and I can be forgiven of my sins, you know, I, you know and, and, and he rose again, he's reigning and he can be my Lord and Savior. It's very powerful. But... Uh, it's interesting how just like these lepers, only one was willing to glorify God with his mm -hmm. life and come mm -hmm. back and thank him. Mm -hmm. And how do we do that? We, we are living holy sacrifices for God. Mm -hmm. Our lives should reflect that saving grace. Mm -hmm. we, we don't want to, um, we don't want to hold on to our lives, right? We should mm -hmm. be willing to lose this life and whatever that meant to us before so that we can gain eternity with Christ. And so I th it's so easy to go maybe say a prayer in that moment when we're um, 
recognizing that need um, to for have our sins forgiven, but then are we willing to pick up our cross and, and follow? Mm -hmm. Are we willing to go and live and you know tell people, like he said, what um, this man fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. Mm -hmm. We need to tell people what Jesus has done for us, mm -hmm. and we thank God with our lives. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. God bless you, my friends. Bye. Bye.